Hey everyone, it's Lisa from the blog farmhouseonboon.com and today I want to share with you my opinions on the Berkey water filter. I have been getting so many questions ever since I've started sharing videos on YouTube and Instagram with my kitchen in the background. People have asked me about the big silver thing sitting next to my sink and have wondered about that. So I thought it's finally time to come on here and share with you everything I know about the Berkey, our experience with it over the last seven years and why we chose it. So just to preface this video, this is not sponsored by Berkey. I'm just sharing my opinion on how it has worked in our family. First of all, the reason why I actually chose this filter whenever we are looking into it is because one it removes more than the ones available for the refrigerator filters and then also the ones that go under the sink this one removes a lot more and I'll go into some specifics on that Two, the cost per gallon we go through a ton of water and so we wanted to be sure that we weren't constantly replacing filters we felt that overall this is gonna be the most economical way because a lot of the other kind of filters require you to change them every few months and a lot of times when they're ready to be changed you don't really know it and so your water quality can be compromised so there's some tests you can actually run for the Berkey to tell if it is still filtering properly and so that's another reason that we chose it because we knew it was filtering out the most of all the filters it had the longest lasting filters that would work for the most gallons and then three you can test to make sure that it's still working the big thing about the Berkey is that the black filter elements inside the black carbon filter elements can actually even filter out viruses which most filters can't do so unlike almost all other filters that I researched the Berkey filter can filter out pathogenic bacteria and viruses they even sell these little on-the-go Berkeys that you can take camping that you can even filter out any disgusting water because of this so a lot of times people use these for camping and taking in their rvs things like that removes over 99 percent of chlorine it removes lead removes vocs which most don't and there is just this whole list of things that the Berkey filter removes that others don't. Another thing that I really like about it is the black filters that are inside are actually cleanable. So once the system stops filtering very quickly, you can actually clean them to make the water filter through faster. Because the way that this system works is you fill the top basin and then it goes down through these black filters I have the optional fluoride and arsenic filters, which I'll discuss more later, but it goes from here, we fill it in the top, it goes through those sets of filters and then into the bottom, and then this is where we drink from. So the cleanable filters last 10 times longer than competitors filters, which I love because I didn't wanna to have to be replacing these all the time. As far as the tests go, so what you can do with the Berkey water filter, and I've done this with ours, is first of all, you take off these white filters. You just unscrew them. So then you set this on two glass jars so that the tips of the black filters are inside the glass jars, and you put food coloring in top to see if the water comes out completely clear. So I've done this test on our Berkey water filter, and the water comes out completely clear, even filters out the food coloring. So people have asked me how often I have to fill it. We fill this one daily and it the water filters through pretty quickly, especially the more water you put in. So if you fill this thing up to the very brim, which I always do, fill it up to the very top, it just trickles down very quickly. Now if you just put a little bit in, the weight of the water doesn't help it and so it filters a little bit more slowly. Like I said, you can clean the black carbon filters to make it work faster. Also, the white filters, let me discuss those a bit. Those have to be changed more often, but they're completely optional. We actually had our Berkey water filter for several years before adding those on after I'd done some research on fluoride and decided that I did not want it in our water. Those need to be changed yearly, whereas the ones on the top need to be changed approximately every four years which is awesome for a family of our size to only have to replace them that often. Berkey did some research, I'm looking at their chart here online, and their per gallon cost of water is 1.6 cents compared to some others like the Brita and Culligan, Pure, all those. 
that are more like 20, 13.5, 10, 20, 9.6. So this is ultimately what made me decide on this filter years ago because we are a family on a budget, we're a large family, and at the time we only had two kids, but I knew that we were going to have more, and I knew that this was gonna be the cheapest way to filter our water overall. I will link below in the description box the Berkey that I have this size that I have. They do make larger ones, they do make smaller ones, but I am pretty comfortable with this size because it doesn't take up too much room, but it also filters out plenty of water. I would maybe consider the smaller size, if anything, probably not the larger size, unless I had somewhere to put it away, not right out on the counter, but I don't. So this to me is the perfect size, maybe smaller. I'd be filling it more often, but we're always in our kitchen, so that wouldn't really be a big deal. So I, but I will link the exact one that I have. Some cons of the Berkey water filter. Obviously it has to sit out on your counter, which isn't the most beautiful thing. Another con is that the kids can get into it. This, depending on how you look at it, is a pro or a con. My kids can fill their own water, which is great, but then we also have the occasional kid coming over here, opening their mouth underneath it, and then, you know, getting water that way, which is kind of gross. So my sister, she has this exact same water filter system, and she has her laundry room attached to her kitchen, and there's a little closet. And so it's right there in their kitchen, very convenient, and so she puts it up there so the kids can't access it at all. Now, if you have that set up, that's awesome. I don't, my laundry room's too far from my kitchen, it'd be really inconvenient, so we do keep it right here where the kids can access it. They're pretty used to it, so we don't really see kids going over here and just turning the spout on because it's always here. This isn't new and exciting to them. We do have occasional issues with it, but for the most part, it's kind of nice because all the kids can get their own water, so that's really great. So that's been our experience with it, but I still love our Berkey filter. We are not gonna be switching at all, mostly because of the viruses and pathogenic bacteria removal, and then the cost per gallon. We are definitely sticking with the Berkey filter, even though it has to sit on the counter. If you keep it close to your sink, it's actually really easy to fill often. Now, if you have a sprayer hose thing on your sink, you could of course fill it that way, which makes it really nice. We just use one of our half gallon mason jars. We keep it close by and then whoever is near the Berkey, my husband or I, whenever it's empty is the one who fills it up. And so that's just the way we do it. If you have any more questions about our Berkey water filter that I didn't address, I probably missed something, I'm sure please leave them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. Check out the link in the description below to see the one that we have and love and use in our family. Well, if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. I would love it if you hit that subscribe button. I make two new videos every week on food from scratch, natural living, and a handmade home. Thank you so much for stopping by the farmhouse.